We all know the kind of welcome and hype this series got when it first released. As we see, the story is about the several kingdoms of Westeros fighting for a throne. So today, let's see what made Game of Thrones an end game. Though this show had many catchy sequences most of us got disappointed because of the ending, it didn't deliver the end as we expected. So when starting, the first two seasons of this show moved slowly, every characters kept on talking, but engaged in less action. Further, it kept us less engaged and made us yawn I suppose. Then happened the black water battle which gave goosebumps for all of us, which made us realize what Game of Thrones really is. Daenerys Dragon Queen gimmick, Arya Stark's faceless warrior gimmick, White Walker's appearance, Tyrion's sarcastic way of talking kept the series more colorful. So now let's see about the downs in this show. Number 5. Killing Interesting Characters. We all have got a special place in our heart for this man, who's known as Khal Drogo in the show. This character was so strong, led a big tribe around him, also was physically strong, and finally got killed by a vicious poison. The writers could have put this character to work and create a good Daenerys and Khal Drogo storyline. But the plot of this character came to an end unexpectedly. Then comes this man, the charismatic enigma known as Dario Naharis, most of us got impressed for his fighting style and the way he made Daenerys as his girlfriend. Finally he was set to stay in Meereen and protect the city. We all expected him to show up anywhere at the end, but he was long gone. Aubryn Martell. This man was also known as the Red Viper of Dorne. Although he was a smart talker, he should have kept his mouth shut after killing the mountain. Most of us thought he killed the big guy, and finally he lost the moment due to his mouth. The Sand Snakes. The lifespan of this triple was so unimaginably short-lifted. They could have used these characters to take revenge for their father Aubryn Martell's death. And still, the writers failed to produce a good storyline with these interesting characters. Number 4. Ruining the main event. We all expected a Jon Snow vs. White Walker King, but it didn't happen. As we expected it didn't even happen in the fifth season. In the end, the whole war zone will be set on fire. Jon Snow and the Walker King will stare off at each other, but the fight never happened. After that, when the Walker King goes to kill Bran Stark, Arya jumps off from nowhere, gets choked, and she switches her blade to other arm and stabs him. That ended up quite simply, portrayed Jon Snow's character as weakened. Still the question arises from where did Arya did that long jump? Did she have a springboard anywhere near her? The main event was supposed to create more epic moments, but the series failed to deliver it. Number 3. Jon Snow going back as Night's Watch. Damn. What the hell did we all just witness in the end? We all wanted him as the King of the North isn't it? I mean, what the hell is Jon supposed to do now at Castle Black as the Night's Watch? Jon Snow's storyline just vanished like a dark cloud. The end of Jon Snow came so vividly meaningless, it's like the directors were rushing to put this series to an end by giving so disastrous endings. So, as we can see Jon Snow's life circle is gonna repeat all over again. That's just a lack of character development. Can't believe that a powerful character got so ruined in the end. Number 2. Making Daenerys as the villain. As we expected, Jon Snow and Daenerys as the King and Queen of the North sequence didn't happen. Where she burns a whole city to take down Cersei and her throne. We all first knew that she has got some bad blood when she killed Lord Varys back at season 5. But man. Is burning and killing innocents just to claim a throne a good idea? In the end, she throws Tyrion to the prison for letting his brother Jaime Lannister escape. And Tyrion gives his statement to Jon Snow, whereas he realizes that Daenerys is some pure evil and won't be fit enough to take over the throne as a good ruler. It was like the makers of this series didn't know what to do with this character and they framed Daenerys into the villain picture. So making Daenerys as a villain is a bad idea. If the series was casting out yet, there would have been slight chances for Daenerys to make her return because her dragon carries her dead body after being stabbed by Jon Snow. Well. I am just speaking of chances. Number 1. Bran is the King of the North. Shit. I can say this fact caused irritation in all of our asses. While his siblings put a lot of hard work to bring the kingdoms together in shape, and he remains crippled on the wheelchair wondering what's happening around him. Which certainly claims that hard work never repays. 
The writers were so stupid to think to give us the ending like as in The Hunger Games. This worst ending made fans give mixed reviews with 55% of Rotten Tomatoes score. One fan stated Bran is even worse than The Night King. Give me my eight years back. I certainly got the feeling of doing nothing in a group project and managed to get an A somehow. This is just some lazy or misguided storyline I suppose. I certainly believe God came and said to Bran, do nothing, watch people die and you will be the king. Thank you for watching this video, do give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you are a movie freak and never wants to miss a good movie or TV series. See you in another video. Cheers.